Welcome to the Kuya Dev Tidbits Podcast, where we explore the ins and outs of building a successful career in the tech industry. My name is Rem, your Kuya Dev, and I'm excited to have you join me for this episode. Whether you're just starting out, looking to shift careers into tech, or hoping to grow more as a tech professional, this podcast is for you. Thank you for tuning in, and together, let's enjoy the episode. Gaano nga ba kahalaga ang certificates sa tech industry? Pero bago ko sagutin yan, I just wanna be careful. Kasi may mga nagagalit pagka sinasabi ko yung kung ano yung sasabihin ko ngayon. Eh. And I understand. I understand. Okay? I just wanna be, you know, I'm, I, I just wanna be clear na I'm not saying this na nilalahat ko lahat ng certificates. There are certificates na very, very valuable. So, putting that aside, let me just tell na in general, and I repeat that, in general, certificates don't mean anything. Or, may value naman sila, kakaunti, but they are not as important as, they, as we think they are. I will try to expound on that. So, sa aming mga event organizers, mga community managers, pagka nag-organize kami ng event, madalas na, malikta- ma- na tinatanong sa amin ng mga students and newbies is, may certificate po ba na ibibigay yung event na yan? And pagka ganun na yung tinanong, Medyo parang may, parang sign na siya na yun nagtanong na yun, he has, or he or she has, his, uh, or he or she has their um, priorities out of place. Kung baga, mali yung priority mo kung yun yung inahanap mo. Because come to think about it. Tignan mo lahat ng mga successful people. Ano ba yung mga credentials nila? Do they include certificate of attendance? No, because ano ba yun? It just proves na umattend ka ng event. But it doesn't say anything kung ano nga ba yung natutunan mo during that event. Wala. It doesn't really say anything about that. Unless may exam na ginawa doon sa event na yon, which is, uh, bihira naman mangyari, di ba? But, yun nga, certificate of attendance, it doesn't... Please, pagka a-attend ka ng events, huwag nyo nang tanongin yun, no? There are events that give out those certificates, but they are a, an exercise in futility. Kumbaga, you do it para lang magka-certificate just because people want certificates. Pero in reality, wala namang value. So, let's go deeper pa. Kasi medyo mababaw naman yon. Ano lang talagang, yung talagang sa lahat na certificates, certificates of attendance, parang, I don't know, parang saling ketket sa <laughs> sa tech industry. E- ewan ko, ewan ko. Sobrang wala siyang value. I- I'm telling you. Siguro yung ibang professors tinatanong yan o hinihingi yan para lang ma- ma- ma-insure na sum- sumali kayo dun sa event, hindi kayo nag-absent or something. But again, I, I think professors, uh, teachers uh, shouldn't do that. Kasi sayang, sayang sa papel, sayang sa effort. And it's missing the point. Because the point is, the priority of anyone attending an event or an, uh, on a, or an uh, activity is to learn. To learn. Sa sarili mo. Na, alam mo sa sarili mo na natuto, natuto ka. Na you don't need a certificate to prove that. 
Okay. Papunta tayo sa kunwari sa ano, mas mala, mas malalim na ha. To medyo uh, other end of the spectrum naman. Let's go to the extreme kumbaga. A diploma is a certificate. Ito medyo controversial. In the tech industry, again, in general, diplomas or degrees don't mean anything. They just prove, no? at least ito hindi, na, hindi siya certificate attendance, of attendance, di ba? At least medyo mabigat naman yung, yung meaning niya. A diploma proves na kaya mo mag-aral. No? In a... In a academic setting na kaya mo ma- ma- na kaya mo mag-excel within the bounds of a of a college yun lang talaga ang ang kayang i-provide na context ng isang diploma it doesn't assure the the employer na porke may may diploma ka eh, magiging magaling ka or magiging maayos ka ang empleyado or magiging magaling ka ang developer. It doesn't really guarantee that. Kasi, sobrang magkaiba ang buhay sa sa academe versus sa industry. Sobrang magkaiba yan. I won't go deeper na sa kung bakit magkaiba yan, but let's just say na, yun nga, yung value ng isang diploma as a, certif- as a certificate, just proves na magaling kang mag-aral. Na magaling ka sa tests, magaling ka sa, rec- sa recitation. It, it adds to your value, but not that much. You know? At the end of the day, pag nag-apply ka ng trabaho, ang tatanungin sa'yo, kaya mo bang gawin to? Bibigyan ka ng task, Ibigyan ka ng minsan ex, uh, data structures and algorithms exam, DSA. Tapos you will try to prove to them na you are worthy of being hired. Okay, I'm not saying na wala talagang uh, ka-value-value ang college edu- education. Ha? It has value. But not in the way that we think it is. Again, it's another topic altogether. So, I think na-discuss ko na to sa ibang episodes ko. So, di ko na siguro ulitin. Then in terms naman sa mga self-learners, yung mga nag-aaral online, yun din, ang habol nila, certificate. But, uh, but that's a very hollow uh, piece of paper. or Actually, digital na, ba? Hollow digital asset, I think. <laughs> or a file or something on the internet na you know, you are may bibigyan ka ng URL link na ilalagay mo or i share mo to people na natapos mo tong course na to but in the end no kapag natapos mo yung course na yon ano yung natutunan mo okay sige may certificate ka natapos mo to pero is it enough to to signify na kung ano man yung course na kinuha mo, you know or you've learned enough to land that job or to 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 be an effective developer or to be an effective professional. Again, it doesn't really mean anything. Kunwari, ito, nilagay mo sa resume mo, you finished something from Udemy. O oh, sige, React.js, uh, React.js na na online course. Tatapos mo, nilagay mo dyan yung certificate. Okay. Nilagay, naka, nabasa ng, ng interviewer. Oh, you know React.js. Uh, uh, tapos binigyan ka ng mga tanong or pinagawa ka ng task. Tapos di mo nagawa. The certificate didn't really matter. What matters? No? Or what mattered in that particular situation is yung skill set mo kung may exhibit mo ba in, in 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 an actual situation yung natutunan mo and that's what matters yung skill 
and the learning na makukuha mo during that the course or during uh, the course of that online course parang mali ah <laughs> anyway um well, while you were taking that online course yon as magandang ano uh, <laughs> statement so ito lang ha sabihin sa inyo at sinabi ko na to na medyo yun nga medyo may may, may mga na offend about it If you're trying to learn, don't chase the certificates. Chase the learnings. Yun yung, yun yung habulin mo. Yung certificates, darating yung mga yan. Darating yung mga yan. May value man yan o wala, darating yung mga yan. Ang mas mahalaga ay yung learning. Kasi yung learning, that sticks eh. ba? Diba? Tsaka, wala naman nagtatanong sa'yo years after. Uy, nakuha mo ba yung ano? Galing-galing mo naman, nakuha mo yung course ni Angela Yu. Sobrang galing mo siguro. Hindi eh. Di, walang magsasabi sa'yo nun eh. No one cares what certificates you took or what, what certificates you have. No one really cares. What they care about is the value that you provide to a company. What they care about is your skill set and what you know. Yun yung mahalaga, hindi yung certificates. Okay. So, sabi ko, in general, di ba? So, there are exceptions. And I understand bakit sila exceptions. Like, for example, na cyber security. May mga training dyan na sobrang mahal. At talagang rigorous yung training. At pagka nakuha mo yung certificate, talaga namang, it's, ano siya eh, um, It actually provides value to you. And it actually signifies to the employer na, uy, nagdaan sa ganitong rigorous na program tong taong to, na cyber security, baka may chance na magaling siya. Baka lang. Yun pa nga, may caveat pa rin eh. Baka lang. Kasi in the, in the cyber security space, Sobrang mahalaga yung magaling ka talaga. Sobrang mahalaga yon kasi security eh, di ba? You're dealing with uh, people's data, people's monies, di ba? Kapag ka sa banko, kunwari, kailangan mong isecure yun, yung data and money and assets. And you need very competent people there. So, may... Um, may warranted na level of gatekeeping na dapat mangyari. Hindi basta-basta dapat na makapasok kung sino-sino lang dyan. But still, you know, pagka natapos mo yung program na yon, baka nakachamba ka lang, di ba? Baka nakachamba lang naman to na natapos niya yung na, natapos yung course or yung 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 training program, kaya siya nakakuha ng ng certificate. So, ititest ka pa rin naman ng employer eh. No? At the end of the day, it's just, the certificate was just a calling card, kumbaga, or or something to get the attention of a company or, an, or uh, a recruiter. But pag after that na ma-invite ma, ma, ma ka for in, an, an interview, ititest ka pa rin eh. Na totoo nga ba na he has that, uh, the, 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 the set of skills na kailangan ng company namin. Di ba? So, ano yung importante doon? Naging importante yung, yung, yung certificate to get to that interview. But at the end of the day, mas importante para yung skill set mo. Kung ano yung alam mo. Di ba? So, oh yes, may value. But the value still is in the learning. Is in the skill set. No? Not on the certificate per se. I hope you get what I mean. Kasi, it's, it's, uh, I don't know why, ano eh, di, siguro di ko lang na, na explain na maigi. Kasi, may mga na offend eh, Na, hindi, dapat may ano, why are you clinging to those certificates? 
kung kaya mo naman patunayan na magaling ka, you don't need those certificates, di ba? Kung kaya mo patunayan, parang nakabuo ka ng sabi natin, napakagandang project. Di ba? And you can explain it in very clear terms. No? And it's providing value to people. No? Side project lang, di ba? That's a very, uh, very solid way of exhibiting your skills. A cert- that's more valuable than a certificate. No? But of course, kunwari, kung kaya mo makuha lahat, may certificate ka na, may skill set ka pa, may, may magandang project ka pa, why? Aim for that. Yun talaga, solid. Diba? I'm not saying na baliwalain mo na talaga yung mga certificate na yan. Nakakatulong pa rin naman. Diba? Kasi, at yun nga eh, while you're doing these things, while you're building your skills, while you're chasing after the learnings, susunod yung mga certificates na yan. I assure you. Siyempre, eh, di ba? One very good or one very positive na effect or value of, or sabi natin, one good value na napoprovide ng isang certificate is yung personal na satisfaction. Na nagiging milestone siya on your personal journey. Not as a way to brandish or ipagyabang per se. But yung personal lang, pang, pang, pang sarili mo lang na, uy, nag-aaral akong gandong ganto, tapos na-reach ko tong goal na to, ito yung certificate. But pag binalikan mo, oh, nagdami ko nga natutunan, ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. Para siyang ano, nasabihin nating save point, di ba? Sa mga gamers dyan, marami tayong gamers, mga developers tayo eh. So, para siyang save point, di ba? Na after nung pinagdaanan mo, save ka muna. Oh, narating ko na to. Oh, level 1. Na, ano, na-achieve ko. So, it's an achievement. And personally, maganda rin yung pakiramdam na yun na parang may positive feedback ka na, 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 na ano, nakukuha. Na, uy, narating ko to. On to the next level. So, it's a, it's a, it's a, a proof na you're making progress. And that's very important. Lalo na pagka sa mga career shifter, napakahalaga ng positive feedback. No? Na may feedback ka nung, or may milestone ka na nararating. Step by step, diba? level by level. Na may umuusad ka, na nararamdaman mo na umuusad ka. Yun yung napakahalaga. And it will keep, uh, it, it, it can, it can keep you uh, progressing. No? Na hindi ka basta-basta susuko. It's something to look forward to. But in terms of trying to get employed, that's another matter. Personally, pwede mo siyang gawing motivation. But again, mas mahalaga pa rin yung learn. Ano na lang yun, parang bonus. Bonus sa, sa sarili mo na pampaganda lang ng, ano, ng pakiramdam na to keep moving forward. I really hope na nagigets to ng mga tao kasi lalo na yung mga gets ko rin kung bakit nagagalit yung ibang tao kasi it's a, it's a business eh. yung mga training programs niyan it's a business but I think medyo baguhin din nila yung ano nila yung approach nila about it na help people focus on the learning din di ba? Na, oh, oh may certificate kami binib- certificate kami binibigay but that doesn't mean na uh, you know focus namin. We focus on your learning. Yeah? We will provide you with the skills. And we will assure you na pagka-graduate nyo sa program namin, you have the necessary skills to provide value to companies. And here is a bonus certificate. Na. Medyo, kaya, nag-gets ko rin kung bakit na, ano, eh, uh, medyo na, na-offend yung iba kasi nga, business nila yun <laughs> uh, I heard so yeah, I think na ano na I ruffled some feathers dun sa post ko 
uh, I think that was a few months ago pa naman. But uh, I'm just trying to, ano. No. I didn't mean anything by it na walang kwenta per se ang mga, ang mga certificates. They have some value. But at the end of the day, it's all about the learnings and the skills. Paulit-ulit ako. <laughs> no. So yeah, uh, let's leave it at that. Um, again, um, focus on the learnings and I'll see you next episode. Thank you for joining me for another episode of the Kuya Dev Tidbits Podcast. I hope it will be helpful to you in your tech career journey. Remember, building a successful career in tech takes time and dedication. But with the right mindset and resources, anything is possible. If you enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends and colleagues. And if you have comments, suggestions, or any questions or topics you'd like to hear more about, feel free to email me at rem at kuya.dev. I'd also love to hear your own stories and experiences. So don't be shy reach out and share them with me. I'm always here to support you in your tech journey. Do also join our community, Tech Career Shifter Philippines at www.techcareershifter.com. Until next time, keep learning, growing, and chasing your dreams. Thank you again for listening, and I'll see you in the next episode.